In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the third basic skill lesson that Tinkercad has to offer, and that's creating holes. And so I'm going to click on the wrench picture right here to open up the program. So we already know how to move shapes and rotate around the screen. Now we're going to combine the two together and actually make a wrench. Uh, and this is our first kind of hands-on tutorial here. This is creating a hole. You notice in the picture on the left, this, this wrench actually has like a, a, a hole cut into it. Uh, this one does not. And so we'll start by clicking the next button. It says time to create some holes. The instruction says drag a blue polygon shape to the work plane and place it in the area outlined in orange. And you can find the basic shape on the right hand side underneath basic shapes. Uh, I'm going to scroll down all the way to the bottom here and find the blue polygon shape. And I'm going to drag it in. And you can drag it really anywhere on the screen, but it says to drag it into the orange area. So I'm going to drag it right into the orange as best I can. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. This is just a tutorial. We're not going to be using it for anything uh, purposeful. So did you know you can change any shape into a hole tool? Because if I scroll back up, you'll notice that there are holes already made. There's a box hole and a cylinder hole. But all of these shapes can actually be a hole. And so by left click it and then select hole. And now it is a hole shape. And you're going to wonder what a hole shape actually is. If I drag this around, it kind of looks invisible. You can kind of see how it's invisible. And so I'm going to put it back in its spot. And I'm going to click the next button. It says you're almost done. Now you have both of your shapes. You need to group them in order to remove the hole material. So select both objects by pressing and holding the shift button in on the keyboard and select each shape. So I've clicked on the, the polygon and I clicked on the wrench tool to make sure that both are selected. And then up at the top right up top over here, there is a group button. This group button up here, if I hold my mouse over top of it, it says group. There's another one that says ungroup, align, and flip. We're going to be using the group one in this lesson. So what I do is I just simply click on that group button, and I want you to watch the hole in here be cut out of a solid wrench. So I click on the group button, goes through, and now you can see that hole has been cut out. And I'm going to click on next, and we're done with the lesson. So if I zoom in a little bit, now you can kind of tell my lesson here, I didn't quite have the wrench perfectly lined up in the orange square. And so if it's an easy fix, if you ever make a mistake, I can simply click on it, click the ungroup button, and I can drag the polygon to exactly where I want to. And if, I don't, if I'm not really good at dragging, I can use my arrow keys and I can move it with my arrow keys. And I can select by holding the shift button, select the two shapes. What I like to do to select actually is I like to take my mouse and use my left mouse click and I like to draw a square selecting both shapes. So I can select everything all at once that way and click the group button and then you'll notice it's been fixed. And so it's a little troubleshooting there that uh, is easy to do. I can look at it from different angles and make sure it's what I want and then I can download this and send this to the printer. And you've now finished lesson three.